Welcome to my presentation on equivalent fractions. So equivalent fractions are essentially what they sound like. They're two fractions that although they use different numbers, they actually represent the same thing. Let me show you an example. Let's say I had the fraction hmm, 1 half. Why isn't it writing? Make sure I get the right color here. Let's add the fraction 1 over 2. So graphically, if we were to draw that, if I had a pie, and I were to cut it into two pieces, and that's the denominator there, two, and then if I were to eat one of the two pieces, I would have eaten one half of this pie. Makes sense. Nothing, nothing too complicated there. Well, what if instead of dividing the pie into two pieces, let me just draw that same pie again. Instead of dry, dividing it into two pieces, what if I divided that pie into four pieces? So here in the denominator, I have a possibility of total of four pie, four pieces in the pie. Well, and instead of eating one piece, this time I actually ate two of the four pieces. So I ate two out of four pieces, or I ate two-fourths of the pie. Well, if we look at these two pictures, we can see that, that I've eaten the same amount of the pie. So these fractions are the same thing. If someone told you that they ate one half of a pie, or if they told you that they ate two-fourths of a pie, it turns out that they ate the same amount of pie. So that's why we're saying those two fractions are equivalent. Another way, if we actually had, let's do another one. Let's say uh, that pie is quite ugly, but <laughs> let's assume it's the same type of pie. Let's say we divided that pie into eight pieces. And now, instead of eating two, we ate four of those eight pieces. So we ate four out of eight pieces. Well, we still ended up eating the same amount of the pie. We ate half of the pie. So we see that 1 half will equal 2 fourths, and that equals 4 eighths. Now do you see a pattern here? If we just look at the numerical relationships between 1 half, 2 fourths, and 4 eighths? Well, to go from 1 half to 2 fourths, we multiplied the denominator the denominator, just as a review, is the, the number on the bottom of the uh, fraction. We multiply the denominator by 2. And when you multiply the denominator by 2, we also multiply the numerator by 2. We did the same thing here. And that makes sense because, well, if, if I double the number of pieces in the pie, then I have to eat twice as many pieces to eat the same amount of pie. Let's see. Let's 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 do some more examples of of equivalent fractions, and, and hopefully it'll it'll hit the point home. Let me erase this. Hmm. Why isn't it letting me erase? Something is okay. Let me see. Erase. Let me use the regular mouse. Okay. Good. 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 Sorry for that. So let's say I had the fraction three over 5. Well, by the same principle, as long as we multiply the numerator and the denominator, the numerator and the denominator by the same numbers, we'll get an equivalent fraction. So if we multiply the numerator times 7 and the denominator times 7, we'll get 21, because 3 times 7 is 21, over 35. And so 3 fifths and 21 over 35 are equivalent fractions. And we essentially, and I don't know if you already know how to multiply fractions, but all we did is we multiplied 3 fifths times 7 over 7 to get 21 over 35. And if you look at this, what we're doing here isn't magic. 7 over 7, well, what's 7 over 7? If I had 7 pieces in a pie and I were to eat 7 of them, I ate the whole pie, right? So 7 over 7, this is the same thing as 1. So all we essentially said is, well, 3 fifths, and we multiplied it times 1. And that's, which is the same thing as 7 over 7. Oh boy, this thing is messing up. Same thing as 7 over 7. And that's how we got 21 over 35. So it's interesting. All we did is multiply the number by 1, and we know that any number times 1 is still that number. And all we did is we figured out a different way of writing 21 over 35. So let's say if I were to, um, let's start with a fraction 5 over 12. 
And I wanted to write that with the denominator. Let's say I wanted to write that with the denominator 36. Well, to go from 12 to 36, what do we have to multiply by? Well, 12 goes into 36 three times. So if we multiply the denominator by 3, we also have to multiply the numerator by 3 times 3. We get 15. So we get 15 over 36 is the same thing as 5 over 12. And just going to our original example, all that's saying is if I had a pie with 12 pieces and I ate 5 of them, let's say I did that, and then you had a pie, the same size pie, you had a pie with 36 pieces and you ate 15 of them, then we actually ate the same amount of pie. 